Hey guys, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chidan, and in this Blender tutorial, we will try to learn something. So here we have the cube. We are going to create a little interesting design with this. Just move this cube along the z-axis like this. After that, I'm gonna select this H over here, and I will add a bevel on it. Control B, add a bevel like this, and give the bevel width 0.7. Then I'm gonna select this edge and I will add bevel on this also like this and I will give the bevel width 1.4 almost double and then I will select this edge and I will add bevel on this like this and for this I will give the bevel width something like this or 0.7 and then I'm going to scale this along the x axis S x and scale it like this after that i will select this face before that just merge the words select everything press m and merge by distance and then change the transform orientation to the normal and move it along the normal z-axis you can select this edge and then you can remove it with the control x then i'm gonna select this edge and then i'm going to use the edge slide like this and then select this face Switch the transform orientation to global and move it along the y-axis. I'm gonna apply the scale on it. Control A apply the scale. And then you can select these edges and control B add bevel on them. And add the pore segment bevel add there. And it looks really cool. This much bevel width is enough. And then same kind of bevel I'm gonna add to these edges. Like this. So I'm gonna delete this face. Select everything and extrude along the normal. Like this. In this way and turn on the offset even now this inner part is a different part so i'm gonna select this and shift t to duplicate it and press p for the selection to make it different object select that inner part like this and fill it press f to fill the gap in this way now this is our outer part so first i'm gonna take the symmetry mesh symmetrize and i'm going to delete the one half of the model pretty simple like this add a look at here and then select this edges and press J to join them after that the next thing I want to do is I want to create some cutouts on it so for that I'm going to use the cube mesh add a cube and rotate it into the same angle it's a 45 degree angle move it along the normal axis and place it like this you can turn on the wireframe and then scale it along the y-axis s x and i will create a triangle cut on it i'm going to select this words and this words and then connect vertex pair and then i'm going to select this basis and i will use the insert operation on it but before that apply the scale and now use the insert operation on it like this then select this faces and use the insert operation on it. And now just select this. I'm going to select this triangles. Select this one and this one. And press P for the selection to make a different object. Then you can hide this. You will get these two triangles. Select this and right click breach each loop. Select this and right click breach each loop. You got these two blocks. Then use them as a boolean object in this way so you will get your design like this then i'm going to apply this boolean modifier and delete this cutter object now the next thing which i'm going to select this corner edges and i'm going to add a bevel on them Control b and the shape factor i want to keep one now the next thing is creating good topology for this for that just select these words and connect them in this way Merge words at here and you will get pretty much good topology. Just use the insert operation at here. Like this. And same thing at here also. Select this faces and use the insert operation in this way. 
and then you can select this ages and then control b add bevel on them like this in this way okay pretty cool and then you can create a topology from the inner side little bit select these words and press j to join them and here you can see in this way you can create a topology so you will get this kind of face loop you can add some loop cuts over here you can select this edge loop and here you can add bevel like this give the proper offset in this way you can select this edge loop and this edge loop and add a bevel similar like this and you can hit the control 2 to add the sub demodifier and there you go your design is here and you can see the design is looking really well from the inner side also you can add a bevel over here you can add a loop cut like this and here also you can select this each loop and you can add a bevel in this way like this and you can see the design is looking really well here you can see the design i just need to take the symmetry over here set the origin to the 3d cursor and take the symmetry so here is the design so we'll start to work on the inner part isolate it select this space and delete it select everything and extrude along the normal like this now you can see we are facing little difficulty over here to solve that i'm going to take a symmetry and delete the one half of the model just select this edge loops and dissolve them now dissolve this edges okay and just select this words and press m or chat center and then you can add a bevel on it like this and you can connect this words and then just select this edge and press f now let's create a topology for this Select everything, mesh and symmetrize. There you go, in this way you can make this kind of design. Thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you learned something from this video. Bye bye, see so you next video, take care.